What is going on? Welcome back to Fnatic Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi. More specifically, big events coming up this week that's going to really dictate which way SoFi does go, whether it trends higher, lower, whatever it might be. Also, I'm going to be talking on some updated data points and give you my price prediction for the end of the week. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, let's get right to it. So this week was a very much crazy week. We had the feds behind us, and then technically that caused a temporary rally. Then the yields continued to go up. We started to go back down. It is a massive roller coaster, and that is going to continue into next week because there is CPI data. Unfortunately, we are not over the hump. Depending on how this comes out, that might cause a little bit more of a downward trend. But when it comes down to looking here, it does show the previous was 6.5. The forecast is 6. So clearly, a lot of people are thinking that inflation is starting to be curbed, is starting to go back down. So that, in reality, could be a very bullish thing. So this is coming out on Wednesday, May 11th. But before that, one day specifically is their earnings. So May 10th, after market close, make sure you do subscribe as well because I'm going to be live streaming this. But this alone is a very big deal. So I do want to show an article to you that I found very interesting because there's more and more articles now coming out about SoFi, more specifically their earnings, where we might be going, blah, blah, blah. But looking here, I found this very interesting because if you do look back at any of the earnings, we have well established ourselves as far as revenue. We've constantly beat the estimates both on earnings per share and revenue. But looking right here, this article does insinuate that on all of their business segments, which is lending, financial services and technology platform is all going to be well above our estimate so that hands down is a very good sign especially not only that it does insinuate that member growth is going to continue to grow and especially more so the recent tweets that have been coming out saying that it's up 700 800 percent month over month so definitely a lot more people are looking at SoFi in a very positive light in addition to that I just want to show you the social sentiment because I'm a strong believer in looking at sentiment recently as a of today it does look fairly negative for SoFi but before that and prior to leading up to that it was very much positive a lot of people were liking the volatility the discount prices on SoFi for the week so again it could take that how you see that I still see SoFi at a substantial discount and well below its intrinsic value so it will be very interesting to see their upcoming earnings and on a side note if you do like a lot of this information and charts take a look at interactive brokers link in the description below and also put it in the comments just click on the link, play around, has a lot of good information. But getting back right to it though, obviously earnings is going to play a big part, even more so as well. Even Jim Cramer is saying that it's on his game plan for the week. So clearly something is in the water. So even Jim Cramer is seeing SoFi as a very big value play and looking more so on the options activity, you can tell there's a big money getting into SoFi, but for both directions. So you can see a lot of big calls, a lot of big puts all being placed on SoFi, which I find very interesting because no matter what I'm sure a majority of you that are watching this never saw SoFi getting to the these prices hands down even myself I'm a very big technical guy and even when I was watching SoFi and I've been trading SoFi in and out for quite some time but I decided at eight dollars and ten cents that was the low where it was going so I bought in fairly heavy at eight dollars and ten cents because based on all the technicals and I'm going to do a little bit more technical analysis at the end but I all the technicals indicated that $8.10 was the bottom. So the fact that we're trading at such a significant discount, it shows with a little bit of piece of good news, we can easily rebound. Assuming Bank of America or some other big institution doesn't downgrade us right after another good earnings. So that'll be very interesting to see, especially with so much manipulation kind of plaguing SoFi for the longest time. And keeping in line with manipulation, I just want to give you a good short information update leading into next week so right now it is just close to around 20 percent which in my opinion still is extremely high day by day change from friday it is up 0.34 percent which works out to be 1.24 million shares being additionally shorted cost to borrow is 3.31 so it's kind of been stagnant but still it is extremely cheap for a lot of shorts to increase their position incentivizing and kind of why we have such a high short interest rate utilization is at 100 percent and the 
the short score is 72.25 and that is relatively high because of a high utilization high short interest and cost to borrow is relatively low but still those two components make it very appealing for a lot of individuals getting into SoFi and just looking into some options activity from Friday 1.6 million dollars worth of options with only one percent of them being positive so like I said take that how you see that clearly this does mimic exactly what is being done here a lot of options being done but nobody ultimately knows where it's going people are clearly just following the downward trend that's been going on and with that just want to show you some technicals and give you my projection of where things might be going so I do have the 5100 200 day moving averages boiling bands RSI stochastic and momentum so first and foremost looking at momentum you can see number of virus have been going up which is a very positive sign and on stochastic we do have that deviation black line above the red showing a overall bullish sentiment despite us going down as much as we have again looking at stochastic that does insinuate that we are at a massive discount and looking at our side is currently at 39 which is relatively low on the actual chart we have tried multiple times to transition from the lower to the higher percent of the boiling band but unfortunately we have failed to do so on a lot of different levels as you can tell right here so hopefully given the momentum leading up into the earnings and especially more so following that from Wednesday if we do have good CPI data we can easily break through all of that and, and trend into the higher percentile of the boiling band and looking here more so at the Fibonacci we are currently at six dollars and 44 cents so we're currently between the s1 and the pivot seven dollars and 41 cents is the point to watch for if we can break over that which given good earnings I see us easily doing then we can easily trend up and have a nice bullish trend and hopefully this is just more of a amazing likelihood of happening if Anthony Noto does buy this week on Monday and Tuesday, especially right before the earnings. That is going to be a very big deal. Likelihood, probably not, because there might be some conflict of interest, especially if there is home run earnings, blah, 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 things like that. But still, Anthony Noto is one of those one that is doing an amazing job, in my opinion, despite what people are saying on the internet. But still, given the circumstances, like I said, I see SoFi easily getting over the $8 mark at the by Friday, most likely. Again, that's my own two cents. Keep in mind, though, I am not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day, clearly. I've been wrong about calling the bottom of SoFi, but Wall Street's always had a very difficult time putting a price, appropriate price, I should say, on technology and innovation, both of which that SoFi does have. So this is hands down why there's been so much volatility, but yet SoFi hands down is a very high risk, high return investment. So just keep that in mind. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.